Today we're gonna talk about a Blender add-on for simulations and creating real-world physics. If you use Blender for simulations, particle effects, or even motion graphics, this one is definitely for you. Cars Physics and Simulation Expander is a tool designed to unlock new possibilities by offering conversion from particles to animated rigid bodies and secondary explosions using the Blender particles and physics simulation systems. It offers many functionalities that Blender does not have by default, and it expands on a lot of them. The add-on offers a lot of tools and functionalities. For example, you can voxelize the mesh and colorize it. There is also constraint generation that automatically applies constraints to different objects based on search distance, in addition to tower generation and much more. However, arguably one of the most important features in this add-on is particles to rigid bodies. Also, there is track particle position, which helps you turn thousands of particles into projectiles with ease. Another feature is Particles Emission on Death. This is the second major feature of the add-on. This will watch for the particle death on the main emitter and in each location where death was detected. The chosen secondary particle system will appear and be set to go at the moment of death. You can offset this so that you can start the explosion earlier, which helps with more realism. Unlike the use of death state in the track particle function, this emitter never interacts with the rigid bodies in the scene. There is also a feature that helps you make chains. This tool will help you generate chains from any object. Make a chain section and select the object you want to clone as your main target. You can also set the length and scale. When you hit make chain, the chain will be generated at the world center. The top one is the main controller, which you can use to control the whole formation because all the elements are parented. Copy animation feature. Copy animation is extremely helpful. It will help you copy your animation to multiple objects and automatically unlink them from each other, rendering those animations after the linking process, thus saving you a lot of time instead of doing it manually one by one. You can select an object to copy animation from, then select the objects you would like to inherit its animations. After that, you hit the copy animations button and you can use other functions such as offset animations for maximum efficiency and control. There's also voxelize. This will convert your mesh to cubes or spheres based on the size you set. This will turn your mesh's outer shell into Lego-like or Minecraft-like voxel-style blocks. When you check the fill checkbox, all the building blocks will no longer be overlapping and will be ready for rigid body simulation. The tool will give you a rough estimate on how many objects you will be creating. This can be handy for both simulation and animation processes, especially with the offset animation tool. Tower Construction To give you a target for your simulations, the add-on offers a tool to quickly build a box and planks towers. The box tower function is very simple. It takes three-dimensional array values, x, y, and z to center the world space. The plank tower offers a lot more parameters to play around with. Offset Animations As the name suggests, offset animations will help you set the animations of multiple objects based on their position, rotation, and scale. This will help you produce motion graphics along with physics and particle simulations. This is very helpful if you want to keep things uniform and non-generic. The tool also offers the ability to offset rigid body kinematics, meta flow, inflow objects, or even flip fluids add-on if you have it. You can also offset particle start and end times if you would like particles to go off in a sequence. You can also offset the animations based on the distance from the other objects. In addition to that, you can reverse the order so the furthest objects go first. Colors Physics and Simulation Expander actually does what it says. It makes your Blender experience much easier. It expands on a lot of Blender capabilities and helps you speed up your workflow. If you are interested in the add-on, you can find links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.